to call this a video that I ever wanted to make is very fucking laughable. And honestly, it's kind of... How can I put this? Y'all know already what this video is about. And sorry if I'm looking off to the side and all that. It's going to be hard for me to focus on this. Especially with the fact I haven't done a sit-down styled video in so long. As everyone knows. Uh, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. And essentially, as police has revealed on March 22nd and 23rd, along with additional things we'll get on with later in this, bomb threats were received in the general area of Lancaster City Library. Yeah. A library. They, they really put in bomb threats for a library. Now, despite fucking news sources being as inconsistent as they always are, some news sites claiming that there were no packages found containing bombs, and some sites saying there were packages found that were mysterious but no bombs found, I'm gonna leave a giant repository of links in the description and I'll let all of you guys sort through all that stuff and I'll let you guys determine what's consistent or what is not consistent throughout all this because honestly this is a story still in development we're only on day three of this and I have no doubt in my mind we're gonna be getting random new snippets and updates throughout the next week or so about this this case seems pretty open and shut it was like a fake call and all that you know how it goes people wanting to be fucking assholes wanting to waste other people's times you know how it is like why a library like why a library why of all the places like like seriously a library it, this could only get more pathetic if you targeted a school or something like that. Which, thank God, no threats were put into schools. But it's like, that's the only way this could have gotten more pathetic. And sorry, I have a little outburst of energy, like, uh, right there. What, what, what do you want me to say? What, what do you want me to say to all this? Man, like... What 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 is there? What is there to say? What is there? Sorry, repeating tantrum aside and me doing weird body movements like this seriously fucks with me. And like monikers aside, Duke of Lancaster County shit thrown away for the second. Like I'm just a normal dude who lives in this area. Like I got no special voodoo powers that gives me rain to watch over this county and be Batman and all that shit. I wish I could, and the reality is we don't live in a perfect world. There is no such thing as a fucking Batman, Superman, Flash, whatever in our world. There's no one who's gonna come smack the living sense into fools of today's world. There just isn't. There's idiots like me and other idiots online responding to idiots, telling them how much they are being fucking idiots. Like. I just wish there was some way to like transmit information into these people's brains to understand how much time you have wasted in people's lives. <laughs> like, I, I shouldn't be getting calls from my only fucking grandfather wondering if, hey, can you help me research seeing if there are any bomb threats for my specific street? Th that's not a thing I should have to deal with. Like, sorry, that's just not a thing that that shouldn't be a thing anyone should deal with there are probably other people in the county who could probably say things similar from this past few days of stupidity and actual past few weeks of stupidity because and i don't give a shit what these public events are 
I really don't. I've done almost no research into what the public events are, but the library has been getting threats, and the city's government has been getting threats over the past two weeks, all because of public events being held in the city's library. Which, yeah, we can probably do a part two further exploring whatever video on this shit. I don't care what public events were being held in the library. Okay, like, I don't care if you're having fucking book readings of, uh, Scholastic's worst ever. I don't care if you were having book readings of fucking, uh, Adolf Hitler, uh, what, what was the book Adolf Hitler wrote? I don't remember what the fucking book is called. Uh, I don't care if you were reading the fucking, uh, uh, reading the world's most grotesque, horror, descriptive book series, graphic novel, with a slideshow in the back, with the CRT playing weird flashy lights and all you know, I don't care how horrible the subject matter, the public events at the library is being done at. It's a library, I can't imagine it's that bad, and I don't, I, I, I don't know what to tell you there. Like, I don't imagine a library signing on like a public lynching or something like that. Although honestly, like that, that would be better than this story. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to inject some life into this and try to remove some of the horribleness from this. But there's no way to do that with this shit. The, the, there's no way to do this with this shit. Like, what do you want me to do with this? I don't even want to make sit-down videos like this anymore. But I, I feel like I don't have a choice when shit like this is happening in the area I'm living in. <laughs> like, congratulations, you, you, you got me to make a normal video again. Are you fucking happy? I am losing my fucking mind here. Like, <laughs> I'm just losing my crap over this. Like, seriously, if we're gonna equate the level of madness I'm feeling here, I'm feeling like Dutch Vanderlyn towards the end of fucking Red Dead Redemption 2. I feel like I'm going insane, I'm watching everyone die, and I feel like every decision I make is just causing more bad decisions to happen. That's not the reality, but that's the level of fucking, uh, what the hell is going on here? Y'all are making my brain go in when y'all put in bomb threats to a fucking library. And the county I live in, nonetheless. You know I'm not that far from the fucking library, right? I'm not that far from it. I'm not gonna say where in correlation I am, but I'm not that fucking far from it. Y'all are actually some fucking assholes. I almost had to evacuate. Yeah, they almost ordered an evacuation order for the city. Thankfully, they only did an evacuation order for that few blocks. But they didn't know how much fucking shit was or how legitimate this shit was. Y'all almost caused a citywide evacuation. Congratulations. Is this the grand scale uh, infamy you wanted? Is this the grand scale uh, wanting to get a message across like done? Did, did you get your point across? Whatever fucking point you possibly had, jackass? Like, what do you want me to say here? What even was the point of this? <laughs> what even was the point of this? You you act like... Okay, let's assume like this was unre... Even though all evidence suggests this was over the fact like... This was related to the rest of the fucking criticisms and hate and fucking... Uh, threats the city has been getting in general over what the library's been doing. I don't give a fuck. We'll do... We might do more research into that. I don't know. That's not the point of this video. <sighs> My brain's trying to sidetrack me right now. It's literally trying to take me in any direction of this. That's not... It, that's not this. Y you know what I... But anyway, let's assume this was unrelated to everything else, okay? Assuming that even though all evidence suggests otherwise. Let's assume this person just wanted to cause harm to general knowledge out there. What did you accomplish? There was no fucking bomb. Like, you, you, you would have done nothing anyway, regardless of what the point of this was or what 
aspect of the library they were targeting. <laughs> <sighs> like... Uh. But yeah, various cuts, clips, blips, and all that happy shit aside, this was the video. Me ranting about this dumb shit that's been happening in my city. I'm not gonna say I hope y'all enjoyed this. There's no way to enjoy it. But I hope at the very least I've shared some insight on the how fucking stupid this has been for everyone, how mind-boggling this has been for everyone, how fucking confusing this has been for everyone, and how overall, me especially, I just feel like bashing my head into a wall related to all this stuff. Man, there ain't gonna be no intro outro of this video, but congratulations to this person. You, you've gotten me back into making normal videos. This might be it. This might be it. You might have pushed me into the level where I need to start mocking stupid people again. I thought this was over, but it's not over. I fucking get out of this shit, and now the idiots come to my city. I know that's not what's happened here, but I need to, like, again, inject some life into this and feel like I'm not looking at the world's worst thing ever in the scale of worst things ever I've ever had to experience. Actually, this isn't the worst thing I've ever had to experience. I've watched an actual building blow up in my city. Yeah, we could do one hell of a story time around that. But, you know, uh, th hey, that's it. Actually, now that I bring that up, that's probably what makes all this worse. <laughs> that's probably what makes all this worse. Yeah, th this person probably knew. We have had several threats before that have gone through and we have had buildings explode in my lifetime. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. We've witnessed this happen before. What, what can I say? We've witnessed this happen before. So you know what? He probably was trying to aim to hit the PTSD cord. So congratulations, you hit the PTSD cord. You've done all the asshole -ish things you could have ever hoped to done. And when I see you in hell, uh, I'm going to do very bad things to you. Very bad things. Uh, you know your butthole? Yeah. Yeah, that, that little diddly spot. You better protect it safely, man. I'm just saying. When we both get to hell together, like, you and me. You and me. There's not going to be no middleman. There ain't going to be no protection, no service to save you. There ain't gonna be no 911 for your ass. There ain't even gonna be a Lucifer. Lucifer's probably gonna be too terrified of what I do to you to intervene, honestly.